Okay, so about two hours, just a little over two hours, um, but I'm losing daylight, and that's good enough for today. My nose is cold. It's red. Uh, anyway, I did cut down that tree, so goodbye, old friend. It is kind of funny that the gnarly old dead tree was kind of a fun little fixture, but it needed to go. It was bound to fall eventually anyway, and piece by piece had fallen already, and if it hits a car or something, that gets expensive. So now we got lots more firewood that I believe is full of termites, so that'll be stuff we burn here. Um, I guess maybe I'll walk this way. Um, I did cut just a couple more pieces of, of this mess here, trying to clear up just a little bit of a path, but um, as you can see over here, another one of these big old pines. One of my next projects is to start pairing this one back and I was able to at least carve back uh, eight, ten feet, a few logs there. There's the, the limb that came down during the storm, but again, that one is a little further back than where our property line is, so that's the neighbor's prob problem and property, property problem. Uh, here is a bunch more that I cleared as this was yet another pine. I think there's probably like five or six pines that were down on this piece of property. It's pretty incredible that so many of those came down. Sad, because um, they're beautiful trees, but obviously could not hold up to that tornado back in 2012. So, cleared this and you might notice some little Easter eggs that I've hidden because we're weirdos and we like to let the neighbors know if they're gonna take a little stroll and check out our property, they're gonna find these little nuggets uh, buried around. So we, we have Snow White and we've got the, the seven dwarves. Just you know, hanging out, chilling, taking naps, uh, spying out, watching you. Like I said, we're weirdos. Okay, so I did pull back uh, a bunch more of this brush, trying to free up the center portion a bit more. Um, but I don't know if you remember from the previous, very early videos, this brush went right up to this big tree here where all the storage is. And little by little, it's coming back and it's forming this giant wall of brush. Um, so yeah, if we ever get into a zombie apocalypse, we will have an epic fort to barricade ourselves into. Um, uh, so that was about all. I did pull just a tad bit more brush out of that front corner, up where the van, that direction, freeing up a bit more of that beautiful tree right there at the, the drive. So that is all for today. A uh, desolate winter wonderland is on its way. I'm sure it will look much more pretty when there's some fresh snow on it. Although for right now, it's a lot easier to work through without all the foliage and leaves. So, we'll see. Until next time.